Oh, well, we got what we came for. We hiked in yesterday and uh, we got as far as we could before dark, but it got cold. But there's tons of deer sign around and I got a combo tag in my pocket, so we haven't seen much for elk and I kind of don't really expect to see any elk right in this area anyway, but we'll see. It's our first time here. Not really sure what to expect, but we got a lot of, seems to be a lot of deer sign, and we've seen a fair amount of deer, so we're gonna hike up to the next peak here and try to get a look at what's in these basins behind us. Because unfortunately we kind of bumped stuff right by camp here yesterday, so we're back and we're hunting. We got about seven days, so this should be fun. It's gonna be cold blue. I just spotted the first mule deer of the day. I think it's a doe, and she's a long ways off. But I'm gonna set up the spotter because there might be a buck with her. I'm basically looking at four different drainages here that come together, and there's a lot of tracks in here, so I figured. a small three by three. He's a small three by three. And he's got about four does. At least four. And it, there's another deer that just stepped out and it might be a it might be a buck but he looks small too. Let's see if I can get him on here. Yeah, he's a buck too. And it looks like there's another deer up there. Nope, just him. He's just a little forker. One, two, three, four. Him and the small buck. There's six deer up there. We sat up here for the next few hours watching that buck bump those does around the hillside, hoping that another bigger buck would eventually show up. But the only other buck around that day seemed to be the small two point. Unfortunately, those were the only deer we could turn up from that vantage point. So our first day came to an end without getting eyes on anything we really wanted to pursue. that little three point and a uh, little four corn today. He's probably like a last day buck, not a first day buck. <clears throat> so we're gonna try something new tomorrow. We're heading to where I think we kick that bigger four point when we came in here. Well, first we gotta cut some firewood tonight and uh, melt a little snow and get ready to repack our bags for the morning. So we'll get some stuff done here. Check back in later.
So that next morning we started hiking to a new glassing knob that I had marked while e-scouting back home. I knew we'd be able to cover a lot of country once we got up to the top and I was just hoping that we could get some eyes on some animals to figure out this area we had never been before. Okay, today is day Monday, Monday, uh, November 21st, and uh, it's third night on the mountain, so 
We're snow camping and uh, we left camp this morning to go out hunting, probably 9 o'clock. Um, the mornings are so crunchy now with the weather conditions. So we made it up to our glassing point and uh, I don't know, there's probably a, a thousand, fifteen hundred climb. A thousand, a little over a thousand. Okay, so after that we uh, got settled in up glassing and started picking out some mule deer and I think on the back side we spotted probably about 10 does and a little fork horn. Yeah, but there they, was a group of uh, six does with the forky and then behind them on the next ridge there was three does. Yeah, so we glassed and I getting towards the end of the day and I stood up and went to the back side of the mountain and peeked over and started glassing one last time and started picking out some deer under a, a pine tree there and about four of them filed out, four doe, and I couldn't see what the last one was. And I put my binoculars down and I lost them and I couldn't pick them up again. I looked and uh, went and got at them. We got back up there and, well, we found them again. Adam found them again. And sure enough, by then, a nice a nice buck had come out in bed on the hillside there in the open. Yeah, he was a good four point. Yeah, he and was a nice four by. We debated going after him but it was already about four o'clock. My boots were soaked and I, he was a, he was probably a half mile away, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Half mile and, and we had to go down quite a bit and uh, through a couple gullies and he was he was in a perfect spot though to get to a ridge and then probably would have been a 150, 200 yard shot to him. It was and, hard to say no. <laughs> well, if, if we would have bombed down there and not got him, we would have got back here who knows what time early in the morning and then that pretty much would have shot the next day so i don't know we figured leave him be we know where he's at live to fight another day and we, we, we're gonna go up there tomorrow I, i'm assuming he'll be in the same general area but yeah. this is our first real mule deer hunt together it's our first time in montana and we're learning but we're spotting game, so that's a plus. We just uh, got to close the distance now. It's uh, rifle season for whitetails back home, and I haven't missed that for 21 years. And Yeah, this is my 50th year. Whitetail hunting would have been the first one I missed. Well, we're up in the mountains instead. He's a good buck. I'm excited. I just hope we can turn him up again. Yeah. But we got a lot of stuff to dry out. And we gotta melt some snow and have some supper. So I'm hungry. See you in the morning. Good night. Alright, we're starting our hike. We're going to see if we can pick up that four point again. Another thousand feet. Well, we made it back up to our glassy knob about an hour faster than we did yesterday. It was nice with the trail broke already. But uh, <clears throat> just been doing a little glassing so far, having a little lunch. I needed some calories. I was getting pretty tired. Uh, haven't turned anything up yet, but it's not even noon yet. So just hit kind of the main areas where we saw them yesterday. But I'm going to eat some food. Dad's on the backside glass where we saw that the nice buck yesterday. I was just kind of looking here briefly where those uh, nine does and the small buck were. But I'm gonna hop back over there and start glassing again in a little bit as soon as I'm done with my lunch here. I just had to, the wind's whipping on that side so I had to get out of the wind for a little bit and uh, eat some food. So, so we'll see what we turn up this afternoon. We got a little more time than yesterday, so I, I got a good feeling. Three 
get to it. Um, this can be a little bit quite a ways. I have a good half mile, half mile. A lot of deep snow, but we got them located. And there's a perfect ridge, 150, 200 yards it looks like. starting. Broadside. You got him. Get, get ready again. Get ready again. He's down, but get ready. Get on him. Okay, give him now. He's there. I think he's gonna die. He's dead. I must have hit him high that first shot. I couldn't get steady on here. I should have took some extra time, but in the heat of the moment, I didn't know how, you know, he was getting borderline my distance already, so I hurried a little bit, but <sighs> that's a good buck. That's a nice oh, buck. Jesus, look how far we came today. Come a long way since there's some deep snow, but we got him. That was totally worth it though. Yeah, he's a nice buck.
I don't know what time is it. I wasn't. I wish I could have. Oh, my phone's up here. I wish I could have been a little more sturdy, but. We did it. We got it done. Uh, congratulations. Well, thanks for helping. Uh, it was all worth it. I don't even know where we are right now. I think the easiest route to the truck is probably down there, but... Yeah. I don't want to go back that way. Well, we blazed trail. Shortest route out. And hope we're making the right choice. Or we follow our tracks back to camp. First mule deer. Your first elk this year. My first mule deer and my first spring black bear anyway. Out west. And my first wild hog. <laughs> it was a heck of a year. And what day is it today? November 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's when I shot my elk was September 22nd. All right, should we pack up? Yeah, I got to go down and get my backpack and then maybe try to get over there before dark. Yeah, everything's going to get done in the dark tonight. Well, I brought stuff to make a fire. So I thought we could build a fire, cut them up, figure out how to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I got game bags. Well, let's go to work, son. Let's go look at him. Getting into way steep snow. Don't let them roll on you. Wow. He's cool. Like I said, this is my first mule deer, but I think he's pretty darn nice. Look at his little point he's got back here. Yeah? Oh, wow. That's cool. And there's that cheater we saw when we were looking at him on the phone scope the other day. Yep. Nice buck. I'll have to see where I hit him here. Look at that big old muley face. Winter time. He's got a short nose, doesn't he? Yeah. Mature deer, though. Congratulations. You worked for that one. Look at where we came from. The highest point you can see over there was our glassing knob. And that's another 1.1 miles to camp from there. Yeah. You throw in. That's where we spotted him from yesterday. Hoping he'd stay put. Throw in all that down timber and waist deep snow. It's gonna be a long night. Well worth it. He's got nice beams too. Above our expectations. This is what I came out here for. I didn't actually think it happened. Up until two days ago, or no, uh, two days before the hunt, we were going to hunt eastern Montana. And I switched it up last minute and said I want to hunt mountain muleys. 
Oh, he got what he came for. A lot of you probably think that I took that shot at a bad angle, and I would probably have to agree with you after watching it back on my phone. I didn't realize how hard he was actually quartering away from me, or maybe I just became too impatient in the heat of the moment. In hindsight, that buck had only moved about 200 yards in the last 24 hours, and I just rushed my shot. He probably would have been there all night and presented multiple better shots. I simply rushed the shot and made a poor decision which hasn't sat great with me ever since. I'm not really the type of hunter that gets emotional around harvesting an animal, but I do try to make ethical decisions as I care greatly for all animals. Hunting can get lots of criticism. I'm sure my shot timing slash placement will receive some. Ultimately, I'm thankful I was able to make a quick follow-up shot and harvest a great buck. I learned a lot on this hunt, and I hope you guys were able to take something away from it too. Thanks for watching. What do you say, I'm ready to hang? The places you drag me. Uh, I was thinking the other way around. Another three hours, we'll be home. I'll be back at camp. Living the dream, aren't you? Yeah, it sucks right now, but I know when I get home in a week, I'll be wishing I was back out here doing this. <laughs>